Howie, what do you feel like you've accomplished in the last two weeks? Well, I think the one thing was that uh, we had a lot of work to do with the amount of free agents that we had. So um, it was important that we maintain our priorities and build upon our strengths. So um, we have all of our offensive linemen coming back. Um, we lost a couple of defense linemen in free agency, but we were able to add guys that have been productive. Uh, at the same time, also getting key pieces back. Uh, you know, certainly the linebacker Nigel, what he brings to our team, it was really exciting to have him back. Um, and when you lose a guy like Tory, get a guy like Mike Wallace. So, just um, trying to continue to build the team. Um, at the same time, it's March 26. We have a long way to go, and we're going to continue to find areas to try to improve. If we could go player by player on the newest Eagles, so that fans can know what you saw. Let's first begin with Michael Bennett, veteran, Pro Bowler. What's he look like on tape? Yeah, explosive interior rusher, um, can play inside and out, um, really good with his hands, good technician, but you know his quickness is get off off the ball, really fits our scheme and the versatility to play anywhere along the defensive line. Uh, you know, for us, that, that's a big part about having just movable pieces because we have a lot of good players on the defensive line. So having a guy who can play inside, who can play out, um, and has been incredibly productive, has won a world championship. Howie, you brought in Haloti Nada, veteran. He's done it in his career. What do you look like on tape? I know the bicep injury last year. Why bring him in? Well, one, uh, we have people who are with him uh, in Baltimore, so an incredible character, incredible leader. But um, we also get that from our coaches, so we're not bringing anyone who we don't think can play. He's an incredibly powerful guy, um, but he's really got good feet too. So for us, it, you know, just watching the tape and understanding he's coming off a bicep surgery. Uh, but those are one of those injuries where it doesn't affect his lower body. Um, there's the ability to get back exactly where we are. We did a lot of research with our medical staff on that, and um, we just were excited to add that a guy who is really thirsty to get back in, and win. Corey Nelson, what kind of player is he? Yeah, uh, fast. I mean, I think that's the one thing our fans will see right away. He can really run. Um, when he had an opportunity to start five games last year in Denver, not in 2017, 2016, um, we had a chance to go back and watch that film and see how he fit in a 4-3. Uh, and adding a guy who's been productive on defense, been productive on special teams, is young, still has a ceiling that he hasn't hit. Daryl Worley, and then the picture at cornerback with all of these young, talented players. Well, first on Darrow, we had done a lot of work on him coming out of West Virginia. Um, you know, he was picked in kind of in the area that we thought he'd be picked, and we didn't have a pick from two to I think 78 was the number. Um, so he was a guy that we, we liked coming out of the draft. Um, obviously giving up a guy like Torrey, who was instrumental in our success on and off the field. Um, but getting him adds to our, our corner group that we feel really good about. You know, how that picture will shape out, uh, we have a long time to figure that out. We feel like we have versatility in those guys and the roles they can do, but um, again, that, that's what our, you know, our coaches will determine kind of who plays where, but um, I know they're excited, and from a front office personnel, we're excited about that group as a whole. What do you look for in a, an inside cornerback? What kind of characteristics do you look for? Well, one, you know, we got to figure out who we're playing. So uh, we play the NFC East. What are the traits those receivers have? You know, what does it look like on the teams that we want to beat? And I, I think, you know, Coach Peterson and his staff have talked about matchups, you know, so when there's different, when there's a quicker twitch, slot receiver versus when there's a bigger slot receiver, you know, how do we match up with those guys? And then Mike Wallace, two weeks into free agency, a guy who's averaged 15 yards a catch in his career still out there. How did that negotiation go and what does he bring to the offense? Well, when you lose a guy like Torrey and obviously incredible vertical speed and, and his explosiveness, but Mike Wallace is also, he, he's a really good route runner. Um, he's, he's got a big chip on his shoulder. He wants to win. Uh, he's been in a Super Bowl before but hasn't won one. Um, so for us, you know, looking for that role, the, the veteran leadership role, and a guy who could still play, it, it was a good fit on both sides. So two weeks in, Howie, the blueprint that you laid out going into free agency, how closely did you come to matching the blueprint? Yeah, I think for us, it, the, the, when you talk about a plan, it, it goes all the way up in, until really the trade deadline. Um, so for us, um, we're not going to be satisfied just on March 26th and say, hey, we've accomplished this or that or haven't accomplished this or that. Um, but we're constantly striving to get better and make sure that you know our coaches have the opportunity um, to have a team that has a lot of depth. And we have other areas that um, we're going to still look to address. And we have other avenues to do that with still a draft coming up in that whole period. Thanks, Howie. Thanks, Dave.